A special program from the Worcester Historical Museum will take a look at the city's criminal past, including murderers who favored knives, guns, and meat cleavers. Worcester's exposed ghost tours? Well, what it is is we took some characters that used to live in Worcester, true Worcesterites, and visitors to Worcester, and we decided to bring them back to life to help people learn in a fun way what Worcester used to be all about. Well, on this ghost tour, we have Bonnie and Clyde. Everybody knows that name. So Clyde Barrow actually came to Worcester and stayed here for two weeks. I'm not going to tell you what he did. You'll have to come to the tour to find out. <laughs> Colette Woosen and Maxie Callis showed us some of the characters who will be portrayed at the event. I am playing the role of Bathsheba Spooner. She lived in the 1700s and was sentenced to death for the murder of her husband, although some might argue whether or not she should have been sentenced. Her husband was drunk and abusive, and she wasn't all there either. Colette told us about Josephine Wiesig, who took a meat cleaver to a Worcester detective during a prohibition raid. So you wanted her to look a little stressed out, should we say? Chaotic. I mean, mother of 15 children, my hair always looks like this. So it's hard to tame it. <laughs> what people do is they call in, they make a reservation, they do their tour, they walk to each character, the character tells their story. And on this particular ghost tour, they're going to be able to pick what their punishment is. It's going to be a lot of fun. For more things to do, see Go in Thursday's Telegram and Gazette or log on to www.telegram.com.